good morning good afternoon and good evening so today i got a redmi note 11 and today i'm going to flash the latest version of the hyper os the next os core edition on this mobile phone and this is what the next os is about so much modification so much beautiful uh, icons so much beautiful colors well you can see the control center and uh, notification center a me dialer is uh, with the rom yes we can record calls also if you or if you are tapping the record button the call will get recorded or you can set the recording automatically and also we are getting the me sms the updated rom of the next os and if you can read next os core edition hyper os android 13 device name redmi note 11 i got uh, 128 gb variant 4 gb ram this is what i got right now coming with the latest android 13 for the redmi note 11 well if you can see the settings interface developer provided details with every blocks connectivity acceleration cellular roaming access point and we are getting essence which will take you for the modification if you want to modify your rom the current rom you can come to this section and you can modify the rom the way you like like a camera included with the rom and if the internet is connected it will get downloaded the things that requires for the camera camera perfectly working video is getting recorded pro mode is also working checking the portrait mode and checking the night mode tapping on the more option here are the extra modes that we can select from here let me check the 50 megapixel camera perfectly working these are the applications coming default with the rom we don't have to flash the caps the caps is already included with the rom well i will definitely say if you have redmi note 11 and after flashing this next os so latest version on your mobile phone you will be in love with this rom if you are getting help from my videos do not forget to like the video and uh, subscribe my channel if you haven't done it yet thank you so much two things that we have to do before starting the flashing procedure you need to unlock the bootloader of your mobile phone any custom rom cannot be flashed on the lock bootloader the most important thing is to check the mobile phone battery it must be charged save all the internet storage data otherwise the data will get formatted right now my redmi note 11 is having a customized rom doesn't matter but before my mobile phone was once updated to the stock hyper os rom so the basically the mobile phone is supposed to be updated once to the hyper os then you can flash any hyper os customized rom turn off the screen lock to avoid issues booting into custom recovery in case if you are using a xiaomi account well i will advise to sync if you want otherwise remove the xiaomi account in case if you want sync your google account once and then must remove the google account to avoid issues later on simply power of the mobile phone here are the files that we have to download and links are provided in my video description we have to flash the twrp recovery we need to download platform tools and we need to download the rom file that is the hyper next os core edition after downloading extract the platform tool first in same folder then copy the twrp recovery the image file open the extracted folder of the platform tools paste the file over here then right click on cmd which you can see inside the extracted folder left click on run as administrator click yes on next pop-up window command window will open well the mobile phone is supposed to be power off now we have to boot the mobile phone into fast boot mode for that we need a data cable you always use a good quality data cable check the other side of the cable must be connected with the computer press and hold the volume down key and connect the cable with the mobile phone 
In few seconds, you will see fast boot screen, release the volume down key. The mobile phone is booted into fast boot and connect it with the computer. On the computer screen, we have to flash the TWRP recovery. For that, I will go back to my downloaded folder or platform tools extracted folder. I will select the TWRP recovery file, press F2, copy the file name only, copy the file name only and then press escape, go back to the command window, type the command password space flash space boot space press ctrl v the recovery file will get appears on the command window dot img press enter key recovery got flash reboot the mobile phone fast boot space reboot now before pressing the enter key we have to press and hold the volume up key after pressing the enter key done Press and hold the volume up key before me logo. One, two, three, four. Release the key and just wait. Recovery screen got appears. I will close the command window and the internal storage will get appears on the computer screen. Here we go. I got the internal storage and I got the micro SD card also on uh, in my Redmi Note 11. And I will go back to my downloaded folder. Right. Now I have to check the internal storage of my mobile phone. In case if it is uh, encrypted, the folder name will not be or the files will not get appears here. If I tap the install button here, same thing. All the files are uh, here and we can see the folder names properly, which means that if uh, the storage is not encrypted, it is decrypted, we can copy paste. Simply go to the downloaded folder and copy the ROM file and then copy the recovery file also, the image file. Copy both files from the downloaded folder, go back to the internal storage of the mobile phone, paste both files over here. On the recovery screen, I will go back to my main uh, recovery screen. Tap settings then tap the third menu and uh, make the screen time out to maximum that's good now go back to main screen and wait after copying the files we are done from the computer right now and uh, disconnect the cable first from the mobile phone then tap wipe tap advanced wipe select the partitions dalvik metadata data that's all and then swipe when it is done go back to the main screen tap install scroll down select the rom file by tapping on it and then swipe to start flashing now it will take a time so we have to wait here finally flashing done it took time and uh, when it is done you can uh, read the notice over here now you have to do one more step that is go back to main screen then tap install scroll down and tap install image then scroll down select the twrp recovery file by tapping on it and then select the re install recovery ram disk tap on it then swipe to flash the recovery file when the recovery file got flash then go back to main screen the screen once again and then tap wipe tap format data type y e s then tap here must do this tab otherwise the rom will not start boot when it is done then tap reboot system now the mobile phone will stay on the me logo for few seconds and then it will start booting to the next os the hyper os rom the core edition android 13. first boot will take a little time finally first boot completed we i will complete the setup screen after completing the setup screen definitely you will see a beautiful wallpaper on your mobile screen and this is what the next os is about and if you can read next os
Core Edition Hyper OS Android 13. Thank you so much for watching the video. I will see you in my next video. Until then, goodbye.